Hello, hello. If you would like to take a look at the inside of my new personal wide wellness planner, then stay tuned. my new wellness planner. You have seen my past wellness planner setups. I have one in Indian pink. Some of the guts of this setup are the same and some of them are a little different because basically I went through the process of trying to figure out what I was actually using and what I wasn't using. And so this one is more fine-tuned for 2021 and I'm excited to use it. So first of all, as you can see, it is absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> this is a full quill ostrich in Canterbury Bells. Hopefully I'm saying that right. Um, from Vanderspeck. And it is the absolute lightest purple. It is literally just like a very kind of lilac-y purple. I absolutely love it. This is kind of like my favorite, favorite, favorite purple color of all time. I love purple of all colors. Y'all know this. A lot of planners that I have are purple, but I really do enjoy a light purple. So I know that in the past I have shown you the Moterm Lilac, so I was going to just compare that purple to this one and um, it is a little bit different. And let me see if it's really coming off. Yeah, it is. So, you know, you can see that the Moterm is definitely a little more on that pink side of lilac, and this one is definitely more on the purple side. So definitely different there. And then comparing it to the Gilio Lila, so definitely lighter than that. And comparing it to the Vanderspeck um, Lavender Ostrich, definitely much different than that as well. And then last but not least, I will pull out my Vanderspeck Inno Blue and definitely a lighter purple than that. So it's definitely a different color and I absolutely adore it. So this is a personal wide. This particular one was widened 1.8 centimeters. I did not change the height at all. I did square corners and I did the larger popper. And then I did do a big back pocket and I also didn't really do much stiffener. So you can see it's still, um, in my opinion, so I just had her, I just had Petra do the Bontex, um, but no other stiffener. And you can see it's still like, it's floppy. It's, it's going to conform to my stuff, but it still has structure. So I'm super glad with how it turned out. I did the 1.8 because I had one before that I had widened to, I want to say either, I, I think I widened it to like 2.2 or 2.4 and it just was so square that um, it almost fit B6 inserts in it and it just was too much. So I wanted it to be a little less square and a little more portable feeling and this one really is perfect. So... Um, the only other customization was the big back pocket. Everything else as far as pockets on both the front and the back are the, um, exact for the standard. This is a 30 millimeter size. So yeah, that's standard. I did add a fly leaf with a pen loop because... I was always finding issues with the pen loops on the left side. So I decided to either omit them from my codexes completely and just do the right-sided pen loop. 
um, as you see here, or as in this case, do a pen loop on my flyleaf. So it works great. So not a whole lot going on here in this planner. I'm just kind of trying to really keep it mostly simple down to stuff that I absolutely need. So I have some washi, I have some dots, and then I just have, you know, a few little fun things that I enjoy. This one I did put a little adhesive pocket on the back and I just have to find a little something for the tag there. Um, <clears throat> and then we'll just get right into it. So this one I pulled from all of my past um, personal wide wellness planners. I did just kind of change the washi tape on the side and that was it. This for me <laughs> couldn't have been um, better timing when Planner Press sent this to me in a package. Um, and I will say it came in a package for some stuff that I have set aside for the giveaway. So, but um, yes, this is definitely kind of one of my mottos here for 2021. And I love that. Then I just kept it simple. So one thing I did want to mention with this setup is I made the decision um, to be on a no spend after purchasing this, which, you know, I purchased and paid for this back in October, beginning of October. So, um, you know, so it's been a while, but I made the decision to go on a complete no spend. And so all the stuff that you see in here, you know, with the exception, I think really of this one was either given to me or is something I had in my stash. So, um, I just was really, uh, pleased with myself <laughs> that I was able to shop my stash and put this together and I'm just happy with how it turned out. So I had these papers, um, I don't even know, it was like a pack from Michael's from a really long time ago and I just stumbled across it and I absolutely love it. It is only one-sided, so the other side is white, but whatever. Um, but it just is so, it goes so perfectly. So I just kind of cut it up so that I would have a little something with the, um, frosted clear dividers. And then these were the, um, the, not the labels, but the tags on the labels were an old, um, planner press purchase. And I don't know exactly what ones they were. They're like an ombre or maybe like rainbow ombre. I'm not sure. But they just, they ended up perfect because they're very pastel, as you can see. And then I just use the clear labels from my label maker um, on the small setting. And I just went right ahead and put everything in there. So this came from my old personal wide setup as well. And again, these are things that I'm going to be using and tracking for wellness stickers. So I kept that in there. And then I reprinted everything. So my last personal wide planner, I tried to sort of use stuff that I had. And I'll be honest, it was kind of frustrating because my papers weren't uniform like this. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I just love the uniformity of having these just all coincide. There's not like smaller ones and longer ones. And I just love it. So I reprinted everything. And so this is blank because I do need to go through and transfer all my stuff back into here. Um, I have talked about this before because I use a bound book. I do not archive my um, ringed papers. So all this stuff I don't archive. Um, I basically transfer whatever information I find that is important into my bound book and then I just ditch all this stuff. So I just don't have the space for all of these things. So I do have the yearly 
and this one does only go till June. I almost think that I've purchased the one that goes all the way, like, does January to December. I'm pretty sure I have. Um, and this one's from Jessenia Principles, but I couldn't find it. So I need to, I need to dig and see if I can find it. And then this one, the monthly, is Jessenia Printables as well. And I just love hers. They're just simple. I, I love her hand lettering that she puts on there. So it's just, they're just classic and simple. And um, so that's my monthly. And like I said, I do, I need to um, purchase so that I can go all the way to December and I can, you know, have that ready to go. And so then I put these little, um, the little tabs up at the top and these ones are rose colored days and I use these normally in my astologies, but I had purchased a whole bunch of them when she had them on sale and so I figured I'd use them now. So then these are my dailies and so this will basically be like my daily brain dump to-do list. So if I really want to do timed, then it's right here. If I just want to write out my lists, which I can just kind of write my list, and then if I really need to time my list, I can transfer it over here. But this is um, just a day on one page, and I love it because she does also put the recap for the month in there. And... Um, I just love them. And this is, I'm sorry if I did not mention, this is the um, Marcia Bermucci. And yeah, so I just really adore her inserts as well. Simple, but still really cute. And so I have dailies until the end of February. Somewhere. <laughs> and so then exercise plan and... So I, again, am using a Jessenia for this one, and it's just really simple, and that's what I like about it, and so that's that. And then this was a gift from my planner bestie, and she sent me a cute little package of stuff um, that I loved, and then one of my favorite photos of me and my hubby, and then some of my favorite quotes. So then this section actually is a to-dos. And so this one is from Sterling Inc. And you can see it's a to-do list and the checkoffs. Then my next one is social media. And this one is basically just a blank that I'm using to... Um, mark out my videos and like you know when my videos are coming up since I batch my videos and then this one here is the actual planner for me to decide you know what I'm doing for a video and the stuff that needs to be done for it then I have a random and I want to say this is a planner society and again sterling ink and these are just for regular note pages and then notes and that's the same I did pull this from my last one so it's a little bit shorter because that last one was sort of like a personal plus and not really a personal wide so um, yeah so you can see it's a little shorter but I just didn't feel like redoing that so then these notes will be either art notes or just random notes. And then I have my health section and I pulled this from my last one as well. And so this again will be doctor's visits and any information I need to keep there. And then my prayer section. And this one here is actually from SM Plans and you know sermon notes and then prayers and then i have a password section and i haven't obviously redone these because this is an empty planner right now i haven't filled anything in yet you guys are seeing it before i fill everything in and then um so i will transfer all of my passwords that i need so that i have that there and then logs 
So logs will be a reading log. And again, this is SM plans. And then this one is actually going to be like a wish list. So I will put that there. And then that is the end. And so this one here, I am actually going to, on this side, print out the if found. So this is gonna be my if found card. And you can see just a slip pocket. I don't have anything in there. And then this is a Villa Beautiful pen that my planner bestie gave me as well. And I'm super excited because it matches so perfectly. And that is it. So that's the plan for my wellness planner for 2021. I tried, like I said, I pared down. I really went through and <clears throat> I can show you. I made like a list of what do I think I need. And I did talk about this in another video before. In my... Um, I'm just kind of using this for writing whatever now so that I can use this book up. But so basically what I did was I went down through the things that I knew I absolutely had to have. And then I just delineated whether it would be a top tab or a side tab. So pretty simple method. Um, but, you know, it just was important for me to make sure I was only keeping in there what I knew I ac actually needed. My food log that I took out of my last ones, I just wasn't using. So I made the decision I can do that on my phone as needed. So I'm just going to keep it to that. And then this is a Ollie clip that my planner bestie gave me as well. And it's so pretty. Purple, shiny, sparkly all the things. <laughs> so that is it. So my Canterbury Bells, Vander Speck, personal wide wellness planner. I will also link all the information on the sizes of this planner in my description below. Like and subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Also, don't forget I have added a new link if you would like to support my channel and it is called Buy Me a Coffee. <laughs> so I've had a lot of people talk to me about Patreon um, to help support my channel, but right now I'm just not ready for Patreon, I don't believe. So this is a way for the few people, if they want to support my channel, um, you can do so at whatever you feel is appropriate. And if you don't feel like supporting it, that's fine too. Watching and commenting and liking are just as good. So I hope everybody has a happy, healthy new year, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!